Young boy. Oh boy. Man, that, that crazy corgi dog of mine, I'll tell you what. And he's not going to be liking this weather forecast because this cold weather not only affects people, but it's going to be affecting animals as well. So make sure uh, you don't leave your animals out too long because their little paws are going to get frozen real easily. Radar showing very light snow. It's going to be snow showery off and on today, but a majority of the accumulation is pretty much over. It looks like we're going to see maybe another dusting to a quarter to a half an inch. Temperature wise, we're going to get up to 13 degrees. The snow will be light on and off today, but just enough to make travel a little greasy. So be careful of that. I've kept the severe weather index at moderate. Come on, severe weather index. Urgh, there we go. Look at the slick travel, and especially tonight. You're going to say tonight the snow's over with, but that blowing and drifting is really going to be a problem for area travelers. Also, very cold weather and wind chills are going to be a big problem. So we've got all sorts of, of advisories. So for uh, Brown County, uh, out of Gamey and Winnebago counties, wind chill advisories start at midnight tonight and go until 9 p.m. Monday. And then we're going to have a wind chill warnings, which means it's going to be worse than that. We already have wind chill warnings that will be in effect for Lang Lang County Forest and Florence starting at midnight and going through Tuesday. And then because of blowing and drifting snow, Green Lake, Fond du Lac, and Sheboygan counties under winter weather advisory. Whew. A lot of information, isn't it? But it's actually pretty simple to, to hash out. We're just going to see dangerous wind chills tonight all the way through Tuesday. Tonight the winds will pick up and our chills will drop down to as low as minus 30 by Monday morning. Monday night to Tuesday morning, that's when our wind chills will get the worst between minus 35 and minus 45. And frostbite really could be a problem for people who have to spend any time outside. Low pressure gave us our snow. The worst I've seen is four inches in Coloma. Snow will be over with by tonight, but the winds really start to kick in as soon as that low pressure system leaves. And we're going to see gusts of 30 miles an hour tonight and again tomorrow. It, just going to be a brutal day because that Arctic air is just going to continue to funnel into our area. So 13 for today's high. That's not bad. Slick travel because of that fresh snow. 11 below zero tonight. Look at the winds. 15 to 20 miles per hour on average and that wind chill getting down to 35. Monday's high, not very high at all. Six below zero. Wind chill staying between minus 20 and minus 30. And yeah, it's still going to be on the breezy to windy side on Monday. Tuesday, it's in the morning where things really are going to be horrible. 23 degrees below zero for an actual temperature. Uh, that kind of weather, cars are going to be very grumpy to start. Make sure you've got a full tank of gas with you and uh, uh, as well as jumper cables because batteries that aren't used to this or a little weak can fail in that kind of weather. Seven below for a high on Tuesday. Wednesday, we break out of that pattern. 18 for a high, but that'll be late in the afternoon. And 